Uh, I don't know if they still do that commercial. Y'all remember that commercial where that man had like, was he sitting in the wheelchair? I think he was sitting in the wheelchair. He had like that, that thing, forget what it's called. And you know, he would try to talk. Hey boos, welcome back to another video. In today's video, y'all, I have some fried hot Cheeto food. So I have fried hot Cheeto king crab, lobster tails, shrimp, and pickles. And I also have some um, Alfredo sauce. Yeah, so we about to go ahead and get to eating, y'all, because I've been waiting to eat all freaking day. I always say that. <laughs> but really, I have been waiting. I'm going to get a shrimp first. All this was in, um, I did all this in the air fryer. I'm going to link a video down below for y'all to go watch on how to make fried hot Cheeto king crab, shrimp, pickles, lobster, all that. Mm. Mm. So how's everybody been? Woo. So how's everybody been? Let me know down below. Um, let me know what y'all eating on today. Mm. Here's the fried hot Cheeto pickle. This is the Mount Olive brand. I think that's, I should know because I use them all the time. But I think it's Mount, is it Mount, Mount Olive? Something. I'll put it on the screen or a picture of it, something like that. I don't know how I forgot. And these are the spears. This going crazy, y'all. So good. Mm. If you're watching this, go ahead and give your girl a like, okay? Y'all had so much fun trying Thai food for the first time. If you haven't seen my last video, definitely go watch it, y'all. I had a time. It was so good. So, so good. Mm, mm, mm. So good. I know y'all was telling me about the the mango sticky rice. I don't know. I just think it, I I don't I still don't see me liking it. Even if the mango, even if the mango is sweet, I don't see myself liking it, y'all. I don't know. Mmm. Let's get into this king crab. This is a golden king crab. I haven't had a golden king crab in, oh my God, I don't know when. I think I've only had them once in my entire life. I'm used to the, the you know, the red king crab. Mmm. Mm. 
Wow, that's amazing. I put all this in the air fryer. I actually had two legs, but I gave one to Aiden. <clears throat> I always say the legs and eat them later because it's a lot of meat in them okay I should eat it right now you know what I'm about to eat it right now cuz why not look at that yes Now, I will say the golden king crab, much sweet, sweeter than the red king crab, for sure. The Alaskan king crab, definitely sweeter, y'all. Oh, ain't nothing in this one. Oh, wow. It's a lot of meat in here, though, but I need some scissors for this one. Oh, I don't know about that, y'all. I'm going to have to eat I'm gonna eat that later. Okay. Yeah, I ain't even about to fool with that one. Ooh, let's get into this lobster. I haven't had a lot fried hot Cheeto lobster in a minute. It's been a minute. Mmm. Just go crazy. Mm. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all up to, what y'all doing today. Um Yeah, well, let me know what y'all doing. I'm going to talk to y'all in a second, okay? Trying to get all the meat, okay? Mm. But this is another lobster tail. I just, the tail kind of fell off that one, so. But this is another lobster tail. Mm. 
Did y'all know kids, kids out here vaping? Did y'all know that? Mm-hmm. Teenagers, 13, uh, even 12-year-olds. This is this girl, this little girl. How old was she? She was, was she 12? She was 12 doing vape, smoking vape. And she, and she put her little sister on. Her little sister at the time was six years old. Six. That's wild. <laughs> I'm gonna link the the story down below in the description box. Go watch it, y'all. It's not that long. I don't know. I think it's like eight minutes or something. And they were on like the news in the UK. And I'm just like. I'm more blown away about the six-year-old. You know what I'm saying? The six-year-old didn't do it as long because she didn't really like it too much. But the the twelve-year-old. She would do four thousand four thousand puffs a day. Okay. And she had asthma. So what happened was basically she was start she had started having a a asthma attack. Her mama wasn't home at the time. She had to call her mama to tell her mama, like, hey, you know, I'm having an asthma attack. I can't breathe. And so her mama had rushed back home. And she took her to the to the hospital, and they had to put her. I believe they had to put her in, the, in an induced coma. One of her lungs had collapsed. Excuse me. One of her lungs had collapsed, y'all. Mm mm mm. Try not to mess up my pants, y'all. So I got like some napkins down. She said a lot of her friends was 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 um was smoking, you know. And she said she was so addicted to it. Every chance she got, she would do it. School bathrooms, it didn't matter. And I believe she said one of her friends, mama had let them do it, I think. No, one of her friends, mama, I believe, was selling it, was selling like the bait pens and stuff. And I was like, wow, that is crazy. And then my oldest came, like, no, not came home. But my oldest, when we were driving in a car one day, we were driving in a car and he was like, hey, mom. And I'm like, yeah, he was like, um, have you ever heard of like bait pens? And I'm like, yeah, why? And he was like, Oh, I was just, I was just wondering. I'm like, nah, you ain't just wonder, you know. He was like, well, my friends do vape, you know, they vape. And I'm like, yo, friends, because, you know, at the time last year, he was 14. So I'm like, yo, friends. He was like, yeah, he was like, they do vape. I said, uh, I said, why, you want to try it? He was like, no, I was just, I was just wondering if you ever heard of it. And, you know, he was like, when that, don't that make you sick? Like when, when you get cancer and stuff from it and all that, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, have you tried it? He was like, no. Nah. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know. Some of y'all probably like. He asked him because he he wanna he wanna try. No, not that one. Mm mm. One thing he don't play about is his health and his grades. He's an athlete. Okay. Um. And with Aiden, he he's seen too much. He knows, 
he 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 ain't even he ain't even gonna try it. Like he just yeah he mm -mm, he seen way too much. Y'all know like that. So I don't know if they still do that commercial. Y'all remember that commercial where that man had like was he sitting in the wheelchair? I think he was sitting in the wheelchair. He had like that that thing. Forget what it's called. And you know he would try to talk. And ever since then, Aiden been like so afraid of like people like smoking cigarettes and all that. Like he don't play about that. But you never know with teenagers. You know what I'm saying? You never know. But the one thing I do create is the space for my kids to tell me that they want to try it. You know what I'm saying? To try stuff or whatever. Because I would rather you tell me and feel comfortable with telling me than you go out and do something that you later gonna regret because X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? Driving in a car with somebody who's drunk, woo -woo -woo, teenagers, all that, you know. Oh, and speaking of that, I'm literally so late. I forgot to even talk about it. So video gonna be a little lengthy. So I'm gonna just kind of like sum it up. So the community feed that y'all seen with Aiden had all the um, like the little, you know, wire things on him. This happened, like I said, last year. And um, it was just a scary situation because he went for EKG and cause he was getting ready to play basketball. And so for some, well, I guess real said it has been like that, but I didn't know, you know. Um, cause real usually handle all that stuff, like taking them to the doctors and stuff for, you know, uh, physicals and stuff I meant for the, like the EKGs and all that stuff for, so they can play sports and stuff. And so, um, this time I took them and he got a, you know, an EKG done and it kept popping up abnormal. He tried it like three times and he was like, yeah, he was like, um, you know, something's off, something's not right or whatever. So, um, we had to wait, so they wanted me to schedule uh, schedule him to go see a cardiologist. So he went to go see, we had to wait y'all, literally two months for him to see a cardiologist. Could you imagine like any parent, a mom, a dad or whatever, you know, having to wait two whole months knowing that something is going on, something is wrong. And then when we went to see the cardiologist and I'm in the office and she's like, oh, well, did they tell you, you know, what's going on? And I'm like, no, they didn't tell me anything. And she's like, well, well, it, you know, looks like he ha his heart is enlarged at the top and at the bottom. And I'm like, whoa, you know, and you know how like those, the movies goes where like you, like you hear somebody saying something, but like your ears feel like they clogged up as somebody talking. That was literally me. I just zoned out and I'm just like, I couldn't really hear nothing she was saying at that point. So they ended up taking us to the, like the ultrasound. They had to do like an ultrasound, I forget what it's called, but you know, they did like an ultrasound of his heart. I mean, the whole time I'm sitting there cause the monitor is really huge, right? So I'm seeing everything, you know, in his heart. Ooh, and I had to just look away. I had to look away. She put a movie on for me. <laughs> I was watching Godzilla because I couldn't look at the screen. But the whole time when we get back to the room, um, after they did like the ultrasound, I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm just praying and I'm imagining, I'm imagining the lady coming back y'all saying, you know, we got it wrong that it wasn't, you know, this, it wasn't that literally she came back and said that she said exactly what I said in my head. She was like, Oh no, you know, looks like it's not enlarged or anything, you know, but he, he does have, um, premature heartbeats. And so we need to put a holster on him to monitor how frequently he have them. Y'all, it was just so stressful last year. I had so much anxiety. I didn't tell nobody. I didn't tell family. I didn't tell anybody, you know, one, because I didn't want them calling him, giving him more anxiety, or I didn't want to talk about it because I was going through anxiety. You know what I me so and that's just one of the things like it was just so much stuff happened last year that you know it was just a lot and I, I don't even I don't even want to share it to be honest with you you know anyways don't want to dump stuff on y'all but basically I was just trying to keep y'all encouraged and let y'all know that you know things gonna always turn turn around for you you know just just continue to, to pray just continue to have faith and you're gonna be fine. You know what I mean? I know this video might be long, but I just had to let y'all know because I forgot. I was, I told y'all I was gonna tell y'all in this, in the next video. So, 
I try to sum it up, try to speed it up and go really quickly, you know, if I was talking fast because, you know, you don't want the video to be crazy long, which is probably already long. But this was so good, y'all. Mm. Mm mm mm. Nothing like cold water. Oh, that was good. Anyways, thank y'all so much for joining in today's video. I really, really appreciate it. Thank y'all so much because y'all could have been doing anything on this Monday. Okay, with y'all kicking it with me. So I really, really appreciate it. Thank y'all so much for all the likes, the comments. Um, I don't know, just support me. You know what I mean? My oldies. Y'all know what's good, you know? And my newbies, thank y'all so much for coming over, subscribing and commenting and liking and just being a part of the Pooh Gang. You know, really appreciate it, okay? But um, all right, y'all. I will see y'all in the next video, which will be tomorrow, so come back tomorrow, okay? I think I'm gonna upload every day for the rest of the month, okay?